Between the aggressive pricing, Lord Gaben himself hand delivering some of the Steam Decks, and now even all the Steam Deck CAD files, Valve have been absolutely killing it with their brand new handheld. Now compare that to someone like Nintendo who's all like, oh, Joy-Con Drift? That is a feature, not a bug. And by the way, here's a cease and assist for mentioning the words Nintendo and emulation within the same sentence. Here you go. And you can even use those CAD files I just mentioned to 3D print your own Steam Deck. Now granted it won't have any of the special hardware inside, but still, it's a pretty cool thing you can do. You can simply just go to Valve's website and download an STL file that includes the entire Steam Deck. And then you just simply open it up in your free printing software of choice. Now I have the Creality Ender 5 Pro, which I just got recently, so make sure to check out the iCards to see exactly how my first experience with that went. Here you may run into a pretty big issue. The Steam Deck is actually pretty big, and for many people their 3D printers may not be able to support such big prints. So there's two things I could have done here. I could have tried to print it vertically, but that just seemed way too sketch even for this channel, and I'm pretty sure that by doing it I would have made some Valve Engineer cry, or I could have simply just made it a bit smaller, and that's exactly what I did. I scaled it down to about 80% of its original size, so even though this final print won't be the size of an actual Steam Deck, it's still close enough to give me an idea of what it'll be like to actually hold a Steam Deck in my hands. But anyway, after a lot of printing, here it is. I actually haven't really looked at it yet, I wanted to say it for the video. I literally just put the cover on it, pried it up from the print bed and that's it, so I'm curious to see how it turned out. Honestly? Actually pretty good, look at it! Now naturally because of the way the Steam Deck kind of just lies down on the bits where you grab it by your hands, I had to build this entire support right here in order to be able to print it properly. So hopefully this should be pretty simple to just, you know, uh, take off. At least I hope. So uh, what are the odds I'm going to either injure myself or someone else doing this? Anyway, a few days have passed and hours of chiseling later, we got him. And honestly, it actually looks fairly good. The amount of detail in this print is actually pretty staggering to me. The details in all these little air vents down here, the uh, joysticks, you can even see the plus and minus on the volume button. It's all pretty good stuff, at least until you look at the back, because here things get a bit worse. But since this is where the support structure was, as you can see, it didn't really make it out alive too much. You can still see some of the grow over here, and you can almost make out the valve logo, almost. And there's still some remaining bits and pieces of the support structure which I can't be bothered to chisel out anymore, but overall it turned out pretty okay. And in general, I just find it amazing how open Val are being, they can literally just 3D print an identical copy of their console just like that. However, it certainly wasn't easy to 3D print it. In fact, it took 5 attempts. On the first one, things were going pretty well until the filament snapped, the second attempt went arguably even worse, because somehow I have no idea how it even happened, but the magnetic plate on top where the actual print goes got knocked off and the extruder started printing onto the material underneath, completely ruining the entire print bed. It also left me with a massive spaghetti ball of filament and also somehow resulted in there being a massive pile up of a molten filament inside the casing of the extrusion mechanism itself. How all of that happened, I have no idea. The third and fourth attempt went the same way as the first, where the filament snapped in the feeding mechanism, so the extruder was just printing with nothing. Because you know, don't we all just love it when a print that takes so long just kind of fails out of nowhere and there's nothing you can do about it? Yeah, we all love that feeling. But then, finally, on the fifth attempt, it actually finished the print, and the whole thing took just around one day and four hours. So it certainly wasn't as easy and fast of a print as I imagined. But I'd say it was worth it, because just being able to pretend like I have a Steam Deck is, well, pretty fun. Because for all the failures, wasted filament, and depressing thoughts this process gave me, I'm still happy I now have my own 3D printed Steam Deck to show off. Oh, and you can even 3D print a stand for your 3D printed Steam Deck. So, uh, that's a thing. You know what else is a thing? 
our Patreon, which is going to be down in the video description below. Because for well, as much as this is cool, let's be honest, it's nothing compared to the real Steam Deck. But the issue is, it's kind of expensive, and sadly YouTube doesn't pay me enough to be able to afford one, so I can make videos on it on this channel. But if you want that to change, then the best way to do that is to support us on Patreon. Because even one singular dollar month truly goes a long way in allowing us to be able to afford purchases like that for the channel in the future. So if you want to see videos on the actual Steam Deck, rather than a 3D printed replica in the future, then again, Patreon is the best way you can ensure that happens. There's also other ways you can support the channel though, via our merch store down in the video description below, and also our Amazon links, because if you buy anything using those, then you don't pay anything extra, well we get to the money as well. Coming back to my Patreon very quickly, I'd also love to thank my existing Patreons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Meg Sumner, Shin Allcroft, Lance B, Common Gage Clothing, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much, support truly goes a long way. Down there, you're also going to find our Discord server if you want to talk to me as a this or whatever else, really. Plus, down there's our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.